All right, Red Nation, today we're talking about anatomically programmed techniques coming up here at How Radiology Works. In the good old days, again, or the bad old days, what used to happen is you used to have to set your physical parameters, your technical parameters, KVP, time, or MAS, based on a little table you might have, you know, that you would keep at, at your hip pocket or you would keep with you at the x-ray system and through a lot of research and work with the physicists you would kind of optimize that table and get it such that you really had the proper technical parameters for each of the types of exams and as you do it more you would get more of a feeling the idea of anatomically programmed techniques are essentially lookup tables that the machine will remember that same kind of idea that if you want to do a wrist and if you want to do an abdomen, you're going to want to start from different technical parameters. Typically, you'll have on the system like a graphical representation of a person standing there, and then you could click on that person, and if you click on the wrist, you'll get a set of techniques relate to the wrist and you can select a technique that's most appropriate for the type of procedure that you're going to be doing and you can override those parameters with within the set of techniques there but it's basically a good starting point or a way that the system can remember what you used to have to have in like a printout in a little table or you'd have a laminated card or something like that in order to remember the parameters for the given techniques that you wanted to use. Some advantages of anatomical program techniques is it can help with consistency because everyone that has those systems, they're gonna have the same baseline techniques when they go to do a certain type of exam. They can also help with dose optimization if we're starting from more reasonable parameters we can achieve a better exam from the perspective of dose efficiency. It's also going to be faster from the perspective of workflow. If you're able to click on the interface and you get a baseline set of techniques that you can use, you may have to change them slightly, but you have a baseline set of techniques you can use. That is easier than in the old days if you had to have a card and you had to type the numbers in. And then just essentially standardization is made easier if you can document what these are and have them be more standard from one system to another and across your fleet you can try and essentially standardize the way that your x-ray images are taken within your fleet of x-ray systems i called it apt anatomically programmed technique sometimes it's also called apr anatomically programmed radiography but either way, after you actually do this, you are going to want to make sure that you're monitoring the exposure. Next, see our video about exposure indices in order to monitor the exposure in x-ray.